welcome back to another video. And here today is the 200 sub Q&A video. Um, I got a lot of questions on this thing, so yeah, let's get right into it. I won't be giving, like, completely elaborate answers, just, like, a quick, brief answer to keep this video short and not get too boring. So, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, guys, so our first question is from our Toy World. He says, what inspires you to do more mocks than other themes? Um... Well, my family has had a lot of military history. I have many great-grandfathers who served in World War II, and I guess that just really inspires me to build what they have accomplished in their life. Um, so for the second question comes from JCNM. He asks, which is your favorite theme of World War II to build? Um, personally, I like the Europe part of World War II, but I am starting to want to go in like North Africa and places like that, but um, that'll hold for the future. Um, Lego Bros Productions asks, what Lego theme would you want to buy? Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, so that is my favorite thing. Um, so Sp Super Sam Peck, Supreme Bricks, Horizon Studios all ask the same question. They ask, what is your favorite mock you build? Um, that Siege of Bastogne build that I made a few that that I made a few weeks ago. I really like that. Uh, Victorious Builds ask, where do you learn all the history from your World War II mocks? Books. I learn them from like books, games, etc. A few TV shows here and there, and yeah. Crazy Brick Animation asks, can you build a mock live? Um, sadly the answer is no. Um, I can't live stream on YouTube because I don't have a thousand subs or a laptop, so sadly that is a no. The Lego World War II asks, what is your favorite tank? The Sherman, probably. I just love that tank. I have the Brick Mania model. It's just so iconic and I really like it. Embrick Productions and Bricks of Dom ask, what is your favorite set? I love the U-Wing. I have it, but I won't get it down just for sake of the video, but I love it so much. Brickfeed asks, what are your future plans and mocks for this channel? Um, I think I'll keep on doing YouTube for a while, as long as I can, but I don't want to spoil any mocks at the moment. BrickBro737 asks, have you ever been to a con? Yes, I have been to Brick Fair, Virginia when I was a little kid, but I wasn't really into Lego back then, so I didn't really get much from it. So, yeah, I have been to a convention. RL is Lego, and Brick Brothers Productions ask, who inspired you for starting a YouTube channel? Um, Clone Trooper X39 really inspired me. I followed him from his Polilo series, and I just love that guy. He's a huge inspiration to me. Lego Fan Man asks, what is your favorite present you've gotten for, like, a birthday and Lego present? Um, the 2015 Millennium Falcon I got when I was, I don't know, but I got it for my birthday a few years ago. Nix Brooks Pr Product 1 and Ranty Productions asks, what's your fav Lego Clone Wars set? Gun the gunship is my favorite Clone Wars set. I have the 2013 one, but it's pretty broken, so I'm not gonna get it. But I love that set so much. Doctor D Gaming asks, "Have you ever considered making tank models?" The answer is no. I only really like Lego. I haven't really been interested in like modeling or anything like that. So yeah. The X Machina guy in LCW Productions asks, "What is your favorite World War II battle?" Um, I really like the Battle of Dunkirk. That is a very interesting battle. So um, you may see a few mocks here and there about that battle. Little Brooks asks, asks, what country do you mainly focus on collecting? Uh, the, the answer is America, because I'm American. Um, and also, they're kind of like the easiest faction to get of World War II and stuff like that. Coconut Brick Productions, Coconut Brick Studios, excuse me, asks, what is your favorite YouTube channel? Um, the Brick Wiz, Rich Boy J, and M&R are probably my top three. Lego Panther 21 asks, if you could build a mock, a massive mock, what would it be? Um, probably the Battle of the Bulge, because I have a great-grandfather who was there, and um, he was just really cool, and he I met him a few times, but he talked a lot about it. It was really interesting. Eric Brick Studios asks, will you ever make a stop motion of your mocks? Um, the answer is no, but I may make a few separate stop motions in the future. Lego Man 123 asks, what is your favorite movie? I love The Hobbit. That is my favorite series. I may want to make a few mocks out of it in the future, though. JLR Games says... Have you ever dropped a finished mock? No, but I have dropped my Brick Mania Sherman the moment I finished it and it broke everywhere. LWSA Productions asks, what, uh, what Star Wars set would you like to buy multiple of? The 2009 Clone Battle Pack, I would love to have like 20 of. Echo Productions asks, do you like Lego Pirates? Yeah, man, I love Lego Pirates. Lego Pirates was such a good series, and I really hope it comes back. Lull asks, why do you choose World War II more than Star Wars? Um, because I feel that like more people on my channel like World War II, but if you guys want some more Star Wars mocks, put, a, put ideas for some down below. Verbark Bricks asks, can you do the Battle of Warsaw? Yeah, man, I'd love to do the Battle of Warsaw. Um, I could probably make that soon, actually. 
Alrighty guys, so that concludes the 200 sub Q&A video. I, I actually got a lot of good questions. I had like 25 questions in this thing. So that was really cool for you guys to give a lot of questions like that. I hope I gave some good answers. I think I did. But um, yeah, thank you for 200 subs again guys. I'm already at like almost 220. So um, thank you guys for that. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy and have a great day. See ya.